Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D shiny text animation in After Effects. It's done without using any third party plugin and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's create another composition for our text and let's call this one text. Just click on OK. Now inside this composition, we are going to select the text tool and just type whatever you want. I'm going to type hello and I'm using this Montserrat black font, but again, it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever font you want. Usually the bold font looks much better with this type of animation. So here we have our text. Let's align it to the center using the align panel. And in case you are not able to see the align panel, you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's make sure that it's anchor point is in the center. So in order to do that, hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. Now we can press S and let's just scale this down quite a bit, something like that. Perfect. We can go back to the main composition and first we're going to add our background. So right click new, let's add a solid and just click on OK. On this one, we are going to apply four color gradient. So let's search for color gradient and let's drag it over here. Now you can pick whatever colors you want. I'm going to pick a little bit of these yellowish orange colors. Now you can play around with their position. You can just place them wherever you want. Let's place one here, one here, and let's move this further apart, something like that. So here we have our background. Now we can drag our text. So let's select the text com and let's drag it over here. Now we have our text. Now on this one, we are going to apply a couple of effects, but first I'm going to add stroke to this. So in order to do that, right click, go to layer style and let's add stroke. And we can go under the stroke properties. And from here, you can change the color to black. You can play around with the size as well. So I'm going to set this to something like five. Perfect. So here we have our text. Now we can select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this. This is going to be our depth. So on this one, first I'm going to apply fill color and let's drag it on to this. Now it's color. You can change it to whatever color you want for the depth. I'm going to set this to black for now. Now you can search for radial blur, CC radial blur and let's drag it over here. First, I'm going to change the type from scratch to fading zoom. Now you can set the amount to something like negative 100. So here you can see we have the 3D depth. Now you can play around with the amount to whatever you want. Let's set this to something like 45. Now you can play around with the angle of this as well. So you can just move it down something like that. So I'm going to just place it somewhere around here. Now you can change the color of this text as well. So I'm going to select this. Let's search for fill. Let's drag it on to this layer and it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever color you want. I'm going to pick a little bit of orange color, something like that. Perfect. So here we have this. So before we continue, if you enjoy my content and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page or there you'll get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only to Patreon. So if you want to support me, make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. Now I'm going to animate this text quickly. So in order to do that, let's go inside this composition and over here we have this text. Now let's open this up, go to animate. First, we are going to enable the 3D characters. Now under the text, we can click on animate. Let's animate its position and also let's add some scaling animation as well. Perfect. So in the beginning, I'm going to just set this value to something like this so that this text is quite further apart. Now I'm going to set this to zero. Now we can go inside the range selector and set the offset value to something like negative 100. Let's add a keyframe. Let's move to somewhere around two seconds and I'm going to set this to 100. Now let's go to the advance and under here change the shape from square to ramp up. Now you can increase the ease low value to 100%. Now if I play back, you can see we have our text coming in. Now if you want, you can select the keyframes, press F9 to ease them. Now you can go inside the graph and if your graph looks different, then you can change this to speed graph. Now you can just play around with the graph to make it look like that. Perfect. So here we have our text. Now if I go back, you can see that we have already applied all the animations. Now, if you want to add more text, then you can do this. So all you have to do is just simply select the text com, press control D so that we have the duplicate. Now just select these two compositions, press control D and let's place them at the bottom. Let's make them pink and we are going to select these two layers. Now you can hold on the alt key and just simply click and drag this so that it will replace these two composition. 
now you can go inside this com and you can just type whatever text you want i'm going to type hello there now if i go back you can see we have our two compositions so i'm going to select the top two and i'm going to just move them a little bit up like that now let's select the bottom two and i'm going to just move this down like that just play around with their positions until you find something that looks good now if you want you can select the bottom one and over here we can change the position of the 3d depth to something like this you can play around with the angle so i think this looks fine now our next step is to add some shiny light over here so actually it's quite easy all you have to do is just simply select the rectangle tool now just draw a long rectangle something like that let's place this in the middle now you can select this press r so that we can rotate it to an angle something like that now i'm going to select this press p for position and i'm going to go into the very beginning let's add a keyframe and i'm going to just move it to this side now we can go to somewhere around two and let's move it across the screen something like that again you can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and we can just change the curves to look something like that so here we have our line passing through and now all i want is to make this line only appear with we have that text so it's actually quite easy all you have to do is just simply select this and i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this i'm going to disable the layer style now we can select the top layer and i'm going to change its track mat now if you're using the newer versions of after effects then you can just simply pick whip and just select the layer which is below it something like that now if you're using the older versions then you have to place this layer on top of this after that you have to change it from here then you can select the alpha mat and it will work the same but if you have the newer version then it's quite easy so once you're done with this you can see that we have our shiny light passing through now you can play around with the timing of it something like that now we can do the same thing with the text below as well so let's select this press ctrl d again let's open this up we don't want the layer style now i'm going to select this press ctrl d let's place this on top of it and we are going to just simply change it to something like that so here you can see we have the shiny light passing through perfect you can play around with their timings as well you can select these layers and let's just delay them quite a bit like that so that we have the first text then we have the second text now you can play around with the timing of this as well perfect so here we have everything now we can add a null object to control everything so let's select everything let's parent it to the null now i'm going to press s to scale this down you can play around with its position as well now let's quickly add some shadow to this to make this more realistic so in order to do that all you have to do is just simply select the text layer which we have over here and we have to select this text press ctrl d to duplicate these let's place them at the bottom now we can right click pre compose let's call them shadow just click on ok now i'm going to make this layer 3d by clicking over here then you can press r and just simply rotate it along the x-axis to something like this now just place it at the bottom something around here you can play around with the angle now let's apply fill to this and i'm going to change this to black again it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever color you want let's apply gaussian blur let's drag it onto this and let's increase the amount quite a bit something like that now you can select this press t and let's lower down the opacity to something like that you can again play around with the angle to whatever you want something like this now if i play back you can see that we have all the animations already applied and we have this very nice shadow something like that so this is how you can create these kind of 3d text and the best thing is that all you have if you want to change the text all you have to do is just go inside and over here you can type whatever you want and if i go back you can see that it will automatically update and you can just play around with and you can type whatever text you want and all the animations will be applied already so this is how you can create these kind of 3d text so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one